I've got a simple question for the body and for anybody paying attention, those folks in the gallery, those folks that might watch this later. Do you like freedom? I like freedom. That's what this proposal before us will do. This language is very strong language to protect our Second Amendment rights here in the state of Iowa. Within a short period of time, we have went from trying to affirm a right to how do we mitigate the right. Since we can't use the phrase shall not be infringed, and let's ask why, ourselves why, it's because we have well over 200 years of case law of the judicial branch eroding the meaning of shall not be infringed. They gave up our freedoms. They gave up our children's freedoms and our grandchildren's freedoms, and guess what? They should not have, and neither should we. We have an opportunity before us here today to protect those natural, fundamental rights and do right by the future generations. So let's not do like our predecessors did and put arbitrary restriction after arbitrary restriction after arbitrary restriction on our fundamental rights. And words have meaning. We'd agree on that point. I believe it was our founders' intent to have strict scrutiny in the Second Amendment. And over the years, the courts have eroded that. We have registration leading to confiscation, and here I'm just calling California out. They started with, they started with what they considered the most ugly, scary-looking guns. They've lowered it down to where we've got 1950s technology and SKSs. That first, all you got to do is register them. That'll be fine. We're not out to get them. My goodness, what kind of people do you think we are? And then it didn't take long before the letters went out. They said, hey, by the way, you're on a list. We, we're going to need to know that you either moved it out of the state or you gave it to us. If you're going to confiscate like that, it better rise to the level of strict scrutiny. I think actions like that say that we need to hold the right to keep and bear arms to the highest of standards, shall not be infringed as higher, but we're going to have to live with strict scrutiny because 200 years has eroded that phrase. What centers on and what we are trying to give the people of Iowa is an ability to actually insert a right in the Constitution, and whenever there is a challenge in court, establish a standard for the court that under strict scrutiny that they would have to have a high burden to take away someone's right. On our flag, it says our liberties we prize and our rights we will maintain. Iowans have been deprived of this fundamental protection in our Constitution for far too long. It is not nonsense to talk about protecting our natural fundamental rights. It's not nonsense to talk about protecting that right for future generations to come. It's not nonsense, folks. What's dispositive for me is who we are doing this for, and that's for the people of Iowa. It's for the people standing up in this gallery right now who came down here to watch this debate, who came down here to watch us take a vote and take a stand and put our name on that board for the Second Amendment. Strict scrutiny means that the state must have a compelling interest if they are going to, if they are going to erode your right, and it wouldn't be a, per and I don't believe it's supposed to be a permanent erosion. It's supposed to be in this case, we need to set it aside because there is a compelling state interest, and the law that they would be considering would have to be as narrowly focused as possible in order to achieve that, that, that purpose. I think I think that's pretty valid considering this thing came up number two in the Bill of Rights, I think it should be at that standard. I think that's only reasonable. This is absolutely, this constitutional amendment, if adopted by the people, is the single most important thing that we can do for the Second Amendment in the state of Iowa. This will restore any, what I believe, my, this is my personal feelings, how our Second Amendment's rights have been eroded through many years this amendment uh, reaffirms what the Second Amendment was intended to affirm. But unfortunately, the courts have eroded uh, that very meaning. And so now we have a modern terminology called st strict scrutiny. And that's why it's important we have that in our constitutional amendment and in this resolution. I know not everybody comes from a district like mine where God, guns, and liberty carry the ballot box every time we go to the elections. But I'll tell you this, my folks back home, they know better than government. I think that's true of 
everybody's constituents in this room. We had, we had a little bit of a hiccup uh, with the Secretary of State's office. And that's in the past. We'll fix that. Let's move forward. Let's get this done for the people of Iowa. Why make a big deal out of this militia language? We know why. The reason why they're making a big deal out of the militia language is you want to color the Second Amendment as being something other than what it was intended to be, a right to individual freedom. We have a Constitution for the express purpose of limiting government. We, we should be more leery of trusting government than the people of Iowa. The Constitution is a code. It's a code of, of beliefs that puts boundaries on government. The Second Amendment is about defining the limits on government. The reason people are flocking here is they want freedom. They want the right to self-determination. That's why they're clamoring to get in this nation. They want to be free. We are giving Iowans an opportunity to define themselves. We're going to say, we're going to give you a say about how you want to be defined by making a constitutional amendment that says you can defend yourself, your family, your property, and your freedom. Now, it's way past time to start having conversations like this when the government is on this steady incursion into the dignity and value of each one of us in this room. Thomas Jefferson said this. He said the Constitution of most states and the United States assert that all power is inherent in the people, not the government, not statism, not socialism, the people, and that they may exercise it themselves, that it's their right and duty at all times to be armed. What this bill does, it gives the people of Iowa a say. I trust the people of Iowa. Why don't we let them define themselves? The decision doesn't end here. If it passes twice here, we give it to the people of Iowa and we say, here's your opportunity to stand up for a boundary of your freedom. And in this caucus, we want them to take it. Thank you, Mr. President.